Nairobi City. It is among the top 10 fastest growing cities in the continent. According to the United Nations Human Settlements Program, UN Habitat Research. The capital is the host of the first Africa Climate Summit, which is expected to bring more than 20,000 participants from Africa and beyond. Africa has been through a series of droughts, which have killed more than 7 million heads of cattle and leading to crop failure. The summit is set to discuss five critical agendas, top of them being climate finance for adaptation and loss and damage. We should not drop demands for a loss and damage fund. That is important. It is a fact that Africa has contributed the least to the climate crisis today. We are pushing for agroecology policy, both at the local, national and regional level, for agroecology to be recognized and appreciated as one of the interventions and successful practice for climate resilience. Africa's energy transition will also be a key point of the discussion. Kenya has 92% of its energy from renewable sources and it is expected to reach 100% by the year 2030. Given that Nairobi City is among the fastest growing cities in the world, the county government of Nairobi is keen on the green building, which is a way of constructing having in mind environment conservation. Nasra Nanda, a member of County Assembly, Special Elect and CEO of Kenya Green Building Society, put into perspective the Green Building Initiative and why it is key. Africa is a continent with a very big um, opportunity and problem. It has a growing population. An estimated 1.4 billion uh, people will live in Africa by 20, I think 30 or 50. So for us, we focus on the built environment as an ecosystem of opportunities. The county level right now, what's happening is um, we're in the process of reviewing um, green building guidelines. And uh, we are hoping that with the focus uh, from the Africa Climate Summit coming to Nairobi, it will be the much needed push to, uh, to incentivize our regulators to say, we need this now to speed up um, and to be mainstreamed. What is green building? From a principal perspective, you would be building in a way that allows natural light, that saves on energy, manages you know, water, you're efficient, and also you minimize waste. Executive residency is an example of green building, which not only has enough natural light to minimize the use of electricity, but also uses solar for water heating, thus saving on power. One of the key things is if you utilize natural light uh, more, it means then often in the morning you wouldn't be needing um, artificial light. So that also goes then to your costs. Uh, you'd be saving on your KPLC bills, um, uh, utilizing artificial light only when required. So that directly affects your costs from an operating perspective. On agriculture and food security, the country imports up to 80% of rice. The summit will dive into nature-based approaches to sustainable agriculture, biodiversity and carbon sinks. One of the biggest challenges with carbon credits globally has been around integrity, let's face it. So we in Africa, as we develop these carbon markets at scale, we have got to ensure that these are carbon uh, credits that are developed with transparency and most importantly with integrity. It's a crucial conversation to have uh, because one thing uh, for the carbon market, it's a great opportunity to empower the communities. Before the kick of the summit, President William Ruto rolled out electric motorbikes in a bid to reduce carbon emissions and pollution from the transport sector. Also taking decisive steps in our shift to zero emissions. As pertains to the environment, climate action and ecological respons responsible industrialization Kenya is in it for Kenya, for Africa, and for the world. In a nutshell, these are the key issues expected to be discussed at the summit. Climate finance for adaptation and loss and damage, 
Africa's energy transition, equitable and sustainable cities, critical minerals and other clean energy sources, and nature-based approaches to sustainable agriculture, biodiversity and carbon sinks. The Africa Climate Summit will culminate in a Nairobi declaration on green growth and climate finance solutions and a call to action for African Union member states and supporting partners to champion its delivery. You'll notice that health is not directly called out during the summit. You'll see food is there, energy is there, but health is still missing. So one of the things that we're doing, and I think this is an opportunity, one of the things the foundation is doing is we want to amplify the climate and health nexus. So we are starting here at the Climate Summit, and this is something that we also want to take all the way up until COP28, where for the first time there's going to be a Climate and Health Day. It is seeks to launch a new ambition for Africa and invite partnerships from the rest of the world. The summit serves as a platform to showcase progress ahead of COP28 in Dubai. It is a matter of hours before the Africa Climate Summit kicks off. Discussions from the summit are expected to address issues affecting the continent on matters climate change. Dan Kaburu K24 from Kenyatta International Convention Center in Nairobi.